In this session, we'll learn how to use the document camera controls within the Sphere 2 software. Let's begin by clicking on the Sphere 2 icon. We can go down to the bottom left, and this is going to be where you're going to click on the icon, and it's going to launch the document camera control panel. This is going to be for the autofocus. This is going to be for the auto adjust. And it's taken in the compensation or consideration of the lighting of the room. Click here to zoom in. Click here to zoom out. Or click here to bring it back to 100% normal size. You can rotate clockwise. You can also rotate counterclockwise. Click here and it will bring you to some other options where you can control the brightness. The contrast. This is going to be for the advanced. This is where you have your option of either leaving everything in the auto setting or you could go into manual and add a little bit of hue, red or blue. I suggest leaving it on automatic which would be much easier. Same goes for your brightness, contrasts, and everything else. You'll want to leave everything on an automatic mode. Next will be for your manual focus. And for manual focus, this works well if you're going to have something with three dimension or depth. So if you want to focus in on the near or the far side, you're going to use the plus and minus keys to focus in on, again, whether it be the closest object or subject to you or the furthest away. If you'd like to reset it back to the automatic mode, just go out to the front, click on the eye, and that'll reset it back to the autofocus mode. Again, this is where you go for the auto and manual adjustments. And once again, I suggest leaving everything on automatic. Here's a great feature. This is going to be for leveling. So you're going to have the 20 degrees plus or minus and as you can see, you can move the slider to level your image or straighten. And the next tab over is going to give you controls of color, negative, and then a black and white mode. You notice that this is in black and white. And let's go back to the color mode. And this concludes your session.